Welcome to Patagonia. We are here in our next part of our trip here in Chile. We are beyond excited because today we are hiking Torres del Paine. The sun is out, it's not windy, so we feel super, super lucky here because that's rare. We just stopped here at this beautiful lake. It was about an hour and a half drive from Porto Natales. The signage isn't great, so definitely look up a map prior to getting to the park because there's no service here. And we're almost to the visitor station, so we're going to continue to the base of the hike. We are now down here in southern Chile, getting ready to make our way to Patagonia. We woke up at 1.30 a.m. to hop on a plane to come down here to Punta Serenas, and we are now going to go pick up our rental car to take it to Puerto Natales, which is kind of like the hub center for all the excursions and everyone going up to Patagonia. I'm going to be driving manual for pretty much the first time. I had like a one hour lesson back in Alaska, but really, honestly, that was two months ago. Probably forgot most of it. And like I said, I'm on like two hours of sleep, so what could go wrong? We got our car, all of our documents for getting into Argentina. Luckily, he's moving the car right in front of it because right now there's like a foot of space. And I'm not looking forward to trying to like get out of a parking spot right away on manual. Time to head out. At least try to head out. We'll see if we actually uh, get more than about two feet away from this spot or not. Oh yeah, this is about to be a dumpster fire. We have a three hour drive ahead of us to get to Porto Natales. You're off to a hot start when you can't even get the one shell wipers to work. Dude, easy as can be. We're going forward. Do I have a gap? You're good. Woo! Continue on Avenida Costanera del Estrecho de Magallanes for two kilometers. Nailed it. We just checked into our cute little Airbnb here in Porto Natales. We are exhausted since we've been up since 1.30, so the rest of the day we're just gonna have a little R&R &R before we get up early tomorrow morning to go do the iconic hike of Torres del Paine. So we cannot wait, but we need lots of rest because it's a 13 mile hike, so we will see you soon. Good morning, it's the next day and it's 6 a.m. out. We are up early, made the coffee, about to hop into our rental car to head to do the iconic hike today. Could not be more excited, it's a beautiful day. Cal walking down the middle of the road right now. So we have now made it here to kind of like the base camp for the hike up to the Towers del Paine. And it was honestly a lot longer drive than I thought it was from Puerto Natales to the entrance of the park. It was about an hour and a half. And then to get from that entrance of the park all the way here, it was probably another hour and a half. So we ended up driving for about three hours this morning before we actually got here. So once you finally make it to the visitor center, you park, there's bathrooms, there's a the little cafe. And then you keep walking down the road till you pass a really large lodge. And there's a nice little path with rocks on either side, which is what we are currently on. We're currently passing the big lodge site and right beyond that is the trail to go up. So when we first got into the park, I had read that there was a gate where you could like purchase your ticket or you could show them a pre-bought ticket. 
However, once we got there, it said the guards were on strike. There was no one there and people were just driving through it. So we just drove through it as well and we still haven't shown anyone our ticket. So we did pay for it, but I'm pretty sure that since the guards are on strike, we could have just came in today. So I'd read that if you're doing the full W track, about a 10 kilometer hike from the refugio or like the true base camp area up to the lake. However, if you're doing like a day hike, then you have to park out at the welcome center, which adds about three kilometers or about a mile and a half. So that's what we're doing. I'm just trying to take a moment right now to like really realize that I'm literally walking and hiking in Patagonia right now. This is amazing. We hiked in some pretty cool places, Alaska, the Canadian Rockies, Maui. Patagonia though, it's looking quite nice. We'll see if it tops all those other ones. finally made it up to the top. That hike was probably one of the hardest hikes I have ever done. According to our watch, it was seven and a half miles up here to the top with about 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Although we have the most beautiful sunny day, it also has made it unbearably hot. A lot of the stretches don't have shade and there's almost no breeze today, which Everything I had heard was that Patagonia was super windy with some of the highest recorded winds in the world up here. So I expected it to be freezing, super windy. So we dressed with tons of layers, um, hats, mittens, coats, but quickly shed all of those layers because like I said, barely a breeze, super sunny and about 70 degrees. But when you're hiking uphill, you can really, really feel the heat. So it took us about four and a half hours to get up here to the top, which was way longer than we expected. About halfway up, there is a restaurant that you can stop at and grab a bite to eat. There's also a station there where you can fill up your water. The trail at first went uphill and then it went back downhill. That's where the restaurant is. And then it went uphill again. And at the end, there is a rock scramble where you're just climbing over rocks before you finally summit to this base area. The whole shoreline along the lake is also really rocky, but there's different places that you can find to sit. We brought cookies and peanut butter for our snack. We were absolutely starving, but we're happy to finally be up here. We're trying to rest our feet before we have the seven and a half mile hike back down the mountain. This is definitely more than a full day hike. Round trip for us will probably be about nine hours, not including the two or three hours it's gonna to take to get back to Porto and Natales. So we just crossed the seven hour mark. We still have about three, three and a half miles to go. We've already done 11. We are absolutely cooked. I keep thinking about having to drive about two and a half hours in a manual car after this. And I already suck at driving manual and I don't even know if I'm able to use my legs after this. So, oh, just a few more miles. So we're walking back to the car. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I've never hiked 14 miles in a day before and my legs and feet are killing me. But we found a little restaurant close to the visitor center where we got a really big pizza. It was beef, $19, had a lot of food on it. I think they know that people are not messing around after hiking all day, but we're finally to car, sweet car. <laughs> been the longest day ever 
If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow along as we continue with a few more adventures left here in Chile.